Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. It's your girl Makeup by Amani. And before we get into this video, um, I want to just thank y'all so much for being a part of my YouTube journey. It's been two years and literally y'all, I am about to get my YouTube monetized. When this video drops, after a few watches, <laughs> I'll be monetized. Your girl will be monetized, okay? So hopefully we can get some coins for... um these videos and i have so much to share with you all um i'm just still getting things together and yeah just bear with me i got a lot of things that i want to share with y'all and a lot of things i have in mind with this channel and i truly truly thank y'all for sticking with me on my journey with youtube because y'all have truly helped me reach a lot of my goals on youtube like my first year so i really do appreciate y'all for that but let's go ahead and get into this video all right so starting at the beginning of the video you know we always clean out the face with the micellar water and a cotton round and then after that we moisturize the skin you can use any moisturizer i like to use hydrating moisturizers i also use the milk hydro grip under the eyes to help grip the concealer whenever i place the makeup there and then i went in with another primer it is the smashbox primer um the oil control primer and to finish prep her skin for the makeup i went in with the urban decay ultra matte setting spray to spray all over her face and i'm going to let that sit on her skin and move into her brows one of the best tips that i can give any makeup artist before applying makeup um, or doing the brows is matte out the brows with powder you can even do it on the face it also helps matte out the oily areas um, and it also helps the makeup last a lot longer so I'll go ahead and tap on some setting, setting powder on the brows to matte out the oils. And then I'm just doing my brow filling, making a line at the bottom, a line at the top, and then doing light hair strokes in the beginning of the brow and filling in easy. Y'all, how could I forget to um, introduce this beauty to the channel? So this is Shamika. Um, on this day, she got her makeup done. It was her birthday, and she was getting ready for her birthday dinner. And um, I was asking her, like, what type of look would you like for the day? She was like, girl, just make me pretty. So I did just that. I can't wait for y'all to see the finished look. So right now I am carving out her brows with the concealer. I am using the shades Tan Deep Sand and Deep Sand mixed together to get this color. And I'm just carving out her brows with um, this brush that I actually got from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked below. It came in all like a pack um, with different eyeshadow blended brushes. After I car out the brushes, I took my Bedellium Tools brush. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have it linked below as well. Um, so this is a blending brush, and I'm just blending up that concealer um, up on the forehead. And as you can see, I'm going around her baby hair because I don't want to get any makeup on it at all. 
um so yeah i'm just blending that all out i'm also going to add a little bit more on her eyelid and then i'm going to add the p louise base in the center of her lid and blend it up so that way we can go ahead and get her ready for eyeshadow Also, y'all, let me know if you like the quality of the video. Um, I recorded this video off of my iPhone 11. In the other videos, maybe the last two or three videos, I've recorded off of my Sony ZV, a ZV1 or something like that. I recorded with that camera, but I'm not sure if I actually like the quality um, of the camera because the, the makeup, it doesn't really show the makeup like how I really want it to, like nice and clear and very detailed so i've been recording off my iphone but let me know how y'all like the quality um i'm actually considering getting a new camera um just to test some things out because i really want to record off of my camera instead of using my iphone because i've been running out of storage and y'all i thought i almost lost this footage of the video um because when i was recording it like literally stopped midway of me doing her makeup and i'm like bro i cannot lose this footage like what is going on but it literally downloaded on my gallery like a day later and i was like well i'm thankful for that but still i can't afford to be losing no footage at all so for her eyeshadow i'm using the believe eyeshadow palette uh the new persuasion eyeshadow palette by believe um this palette is by beauty by melissa if you know you know if you don't please don't ask no questions just get the palette you need it in your life like seriously y'all i literally have about six of these palettes and i only use the same colors <laughs> but uh, i'm gonna also have it linked down below so y'all can pick this palette up so here is where i'm struggling with eyeshadow like for some reason i'm not able to get the eyeshadow like nice and blended or give that nice gradient effect like i want it so i've just been working with this method um since forever like i do the same eyeshadow on almost everyone but you know just using different colors and stuff like that but i'm not sure how i really like it like i still want to learn different techniques with eyeshadow so once i learn a new technique i'll definitely share it with you all but this is what i've been working with lately and it's been working with me but you know i want to try something different so so i'm taking a brush that i got from the amazon eyeshadow pack that i was telling y'all about um i'm taking one of those brushes and i'm just carving out her crease with the p louise base and then i'm gonna take another brush and blend it out i didn't want it to look like a cut crease but like a soft cut crease that's what i want it to look like a soft cut crease and then i'm gonna add her colors on top of it it's gonna be so pretty
After I added her shimmers to her eyes, I'm going back in with the deepest color that I used. Um, like I said, all of the colors and everything that I use would be listed down below. So be sure to check the description box so you can know which color I use for her eyes. But I'm using the darkest color and I'm just smoking out the edge of that eyeshadow so it can look a little blown out. So I used two different foundations to get her foundation color. Um, I usually don't apply foundation like in the center of the face first. I always start at the bottom. But for some reason, I started it here. I can't remember. Why. I think I was testing out a foundation shade on her skin just to see what it would look like. But um, this is the Lancome. And y'all already know, if you use Lancome before, it kind of oxidized on the skin. So it's going to be a little bit darker. Um, that's why it's looking light and then you see it kind of dry down to its color and then I'm using um, I use 470 no 460 and 500 um, warm on her skin and then I'm spraying her face with that setting spray and I'm gonna pat it all in Y'all, this blend is looking really, really good. I fast forwarded up because I like the way it looks when it's blending out kind of fast. That way you're able to see. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so I like to make the skin just a tad bit darker. So that way when I add all the concealer and the powders and all of that stuff, it's going to lighten up to her skin complexion. But um, if you're wondering why her skin is just a tad darker, that's why. So for under the eyes, I'm going to go in with two concealers. The first shade of concealer I'm going to use is going to be close to her skin complexion, which that's going to do the color correcting for me, just so I don't have to use like any orange shades or anything. Like it's going to clean up under the eyes and do whatever it needs to do. And then the next shade I use is going to be lighter. Um, that's going to um, highlight under the eyes. So I'm taking a darker foundation shade and I'm tapping that like on her cheeks because I want to give her like a facelift. So that's why I'm tapping that foundation on her cheeks. I'm going to tap it on her forehead and on the sides of her nose. So I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend out that contour first just so it doesn't leave any harsh marks on the skin and also it blends right into the foundation but you're still able to tell what the contour is so i'm going to blend out her forehead and nose contour first while letting that concealer sit under her eyes so it can get nice and tacky and then when i blend out the concealer under her eyes i'm only going to blend out the edges first um and when I say the edges, I mean like around, well, the edge of the eyes and 
by the nose and letting that concealer sit like directly under her eyes and get tacky so that way she has like a nice flawless smooth under eye whenever we add our setting powder And I'm going to take my MAC foundation powder and I'm going to set all over her face with that powder and then I'm going to go in with blush and contour. So I don't normally use as much blush, but because her hair is blonde, I kind of wanted her blush and her face and everything to pop. And plus it matched her eyeshadow perfectly. So I added um, blush. I used the Pink Shade Cosmetics Blush Palette. And um, I went in with contour from the contour palette by Morphe. And yeah, y'all, this look is turning out really, really nice. And I keep telling y'all, liner is a very essential when it comes to the makeup kit. Like, if I don't have one of the things that I have to have is black eyeliner to complete a look. Like, did y'all see what that just did to her eyes? So, I'm gonna smoke out that liner with some eyeshadow that I use um, on top of her eyes from the same palette. Now I'm dusting away that setting powder that was left under her eyes. I'm using the MAC foundation powder in the shade NC45. And look how smooth it left the under eye. It looks really, really good.
so i wanted to give her eyes a little more pop so i added the gold shimmer shade from the new persuasion palette in her inner corners and y'all look at her she already knows she's a baddie y'all look at her she's starting to smile but i put this clip in so you can see what her eyeshadow looks like it's so pretty then i went in and sprayed her face again with the ultra matte urban decay setting spray and then we're moving on to her lips All right, now I'm gonna add mascara to her bottom lashes, her bottom and top lashes, but look what this uh, mascara does for her bottom lashes. It looks so good, y'all. Like, I can't get over how good this look came out. And with the blonde hair, like, you can't tell her she ain't Beyonce at all. Yes, ma'am. Y'all look, oh my God. Y'all, this makes me so happy when I see my clients like checking themselves out and looking in the mirror and everything. I have a mirror right in front of her so she's actually able to see what her makeup looks like. Oh, Y'all, this makes me so happy, literally. I love to see my clients like show out and know that they are a bad B, okay? <laughs> but yes, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in to my video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.